Are your emails getting lost in your subscribers' inboxes? Today, I'm gonna to be revealing a powerful trick to boost your email campaign's visibility by resending your MailChimp campaign to those who didn't open it the first time. Let's dive in. I'm Eric from Strategy Email, and if you're looking to get the most out of your email marketing, stick around because this tip could significantly improve your open rates. First, let's talk about why you should resend emails to non-openers. Studies show that many emails go unopened not because they're irrelevant, but because they get lost in crowded inboxes. By resending your email, you give your message a second chance to be seen and hopefully get that click and conversion. Now let's get into the steps of resending your email campaign to those who didn't open it. So here we start off at the MailChimp homepage. We're going to click this drop down next to campaigns. That's going to bring us to our all campaigns section. I have this test email that I sent out. As you can see, unfortunately, no one has opened it. But let's go ahead and click this drop down here. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but it is next to view report. We're going to click this drop down and we're going to click on replicate. What this is going to do is it's going to create a copy of this email. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the to section. We're going to change edit recipients. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new segment. Once you have the regular segment builder open, the select or search a filter dropdown will be open. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and we're going to go to email, SMS and automations activity. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to email interaction. We're going to click on, instead of opened, we're going to click on was sent. And then we're gonna choose an email. So we can choose either any of the last five campaigns, last seven days, one month, three months, last five campaigns. But since I know that I'm only looking for items that I sent in test, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the test. What this filter is doing is it's filtering the list to people who were sent this test email. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this add filter button. And then before we choose that dropdown, we're gonna change this to and. And then we're going to click on the select or search a filter. And we're going to scroll down again to email interaction. And then we're going to change opened to did not open. And then we have to choose, in this case, test. What this is gonna do is it's gonna create a list of customers who were sent this test email, but did not open it. So we're going to click on review segment. It looks like I have three people who did not open this email. So I'm gonna go ahead and click use segment. And there we go. Now we have the correct segment that we need and we can go ahead and either send our email or schedule it to be sent. A few tips to maximize your results. First is wait at least 24 hours after the original send before resending. This gives your customers a chance to engage with the first email. Second, you might wanna change the subject line to grab their attention. And lastly, keep an eye on your subscribe rates. Sometimes customers can get kind of angry when they get a second email. Now that you know how to resend campaigns to non-openers, give it a try in your next campaign. And if you found this video helpful, click the link in the video description below to sign up for my free email newsletter, where I send out tips, tricks, and strategies to improve your marketing game just like this one. I'm Eric from Strategy Gmail. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy emailing.